Hi guys, it's Marlene here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to share with you um, this brand new product. Um, they're called Luster Lux and they're from Be Crafty. If you follow my blog or even come here on my YouTube channel, you know that I am on the design team for Be Crafty. And um, the girls send out these paints here. They are brand new. They've only just released them. They released nine colors. I have got three so far. And I do say so far because I would really like to get my hands on them all. Um, but I've had a wee bit of a play with them today. They only just landed through my door today. Um, but I've, I still managed to carve out a bit of time and do a few things with them. So I just thought I'd share with you my thoughts on them so far. Um, they come in these little pots here. Um, they have the colours written on the side here so you'd know. They have your lid and I've used the lid. There's like a wee seal in here and I just use that to kind of work my work the paints into my blending foam. Um, Bev from Be Crafty, um, she suggested using the um, blending tools for these. So that's pretty much what I just went with and just use them. So, and I'm gonna store them just like Bev suggested. Um, I'm just gonna take my foam and when I'm finished for today, put it into the pot there. It's not gonna contaminate the top bit there because I'll just squish it down a wee bit, put my lid on and that's going to keep everything nice and dry. And I have my my tool here for all my distressings and whatever else I used them for anyway. So um, so that's that's kind of it. But let's have a look. And just move these up here for a bit. So now these are the most creamy paints I have ever seen and ever tried. Um, they are they're really really moussey. Um, it's not runny as a paint. They're absolutely lovely and the colours, the shine of them are so amazing. Um, I've used them on a variety of things today. Um, I put them straight onto an artboard. Let me see if I just take this off here. Oh, can you see the shine of that just there? If I might turn this way, you can see it a bit. Here I have just taken the Be Crafty artboards and I didn't prime it or nothing. I used a blending tool and I put the colours straight onto the artboard and um, literally just rubbed it in um, and you can see here they actually do blend quite decently I think maybe if you add a bit of water you might get a better blend of them um, but I put then I put a stencil on here and I just dabbed it dabbed the paint through the stencil and dabbing it on has given it a bit of a texture on it so it's not where out here it's completely smooth but where I dabbed on the paint, it has dried with a bit of texture and you can feel the difference. I know you probably can't see it, but you can physically feel the difference um, in it by dabbing it on, dabbing it on versus um, doing the circular motions. But look how true to the colour pots they are as well. Look at that. I was well amazed with that because the colour stays so true. So isn't that amazing? Look at the shine. I could sit and watch this myself all day, I think. Um, but anyway, I decided to have a bit of a play and use different surfaces. And I've even pulled out several surfaces that I haven't used it on yet. So we're just gonna run through a few things, have a bit of a play, have a bit of a try and see how we get on. Now, one of the things Bev mentioned on her Facebook Live, if you watched it last night, was to make a spray with them. Um, and that's what I've actually done in this little mini mister. Um, I literally just filled it with water, took a tiny little blob on the edge of my palette knife here and I scooped it in here and closed it up, gave it a good shake and once I was happy with the colour and how it worked and the texture and that I had dissolved it all, I added a wee bit more water and, and just gave it another shake. Um, very, very easy. Now, I on purpose you haven't shook this up because I wanted to show you that when it just stands and rests, now this has stood for a couple of hours now, it actually kind of, the paint will separate again from the water, but sure, give it a shake and you are good to go. You see that? Absolutely lovely. And it comes out lovely. Absolutely lovely. Now I'll show you in a second, but this here is the luster spray that I have just made. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? The shine is sprawling. Can you see the shine there? Look at that. Now, I am a big fan of mica powder. I use it for a lot of products and lo and behold, I do have a spray made up 
Now I actually wanted to see how this spray here with the makeup powder in it, look at that gorgeous color, how that held up next to my luster spray. And look at the difference. Now the shine of both, I am not going to lie to you, is very, very good. Very, very good. But what I did notice, which were, which actually was a huge difference to me, is the fact that the luster spray is actually more concentrated in color. And because, maybe because it's a moussey paint, it doesn't get as so, so liquid as the mica spray. Now I have quite a lot of mica powder in this, so I know it's, 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 it's a good mixture in this here. And I've used it a lot. Um, but what I never thought of is that it kind of dispersed the color as well. So I actually have patches through where there isn't as much of a color. Does that, does that make sense at all? So now my mica spray, I normally use it like if I just want to give a fine mist over a big project, um, like if I have a card base or something like that, um, to, 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 uh, that's what I normally use it for. But I think if you use the luster spray, if you made up a mister with luster spray, um, I think that would actually, you know, through stencils, I think this would look absolutely amazing. Now, funny, that's actually one thing I didn't try out. Sure, we might try that after. Um, but I think that would, that would look lovely, more concentrated through a stencil. So, uh, but there you go, there, there's a wee comparison on it and very easily, I'll even give it a wee spray here and you can see. Look, that was four little sprays. That was all that was. Now, obviously this is wet. Um, I'll put this to the side and I'll show you in a minute when it's dried up, all right? So in the meantime, while that's drying, what else did I do with it? Um, as Bev did, I popped it onto black card. Oh, put my fingers in it now. Um, look at these three colors on black cardstock. Isn't that yummy? Absolutely yummy, 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 yummy. They go on so smooth. I will show you in a minute. Um, but that's the colors on black. The colors on the artboard, the MDF. Can you see how true to the colors they actually stay and how like how great a coverage they give. I'm I'm really well amazed at this product. I really, really am. Um, let's see what else did I do? What is it? Oh, I actually stamped with them. I stamped with them. This is quite amazing. I just wanted to know if it was actually possible. I took our little girl with a club. You all probably know our Banksy girl. And let's see, this one here. I took my stamp and I dabbed on my paint and I stamped straight up. Now it's a wee bit, it's kind of, it's not as clear I suppose. And a lot of the, the gold that's in the green color, a lot of the shine came off again. So I took this, this stamp and I just sprayed it. I didn't put any more paint on it. I just sprayed a wee bit of water onto it. Just a couple of mist, clear water. And I stamped her again and look at that. You see the shine, the difference of the two of them. So you can actually stamp with them as well which is really kind of cool, especially the fact that it's not a liquid paint. So I, that's why I wanted to try it because I wanted to see if that worked out. Again, I'll, I'll run through of how I did some of these things after, but I just want to really show you how many things I've done with them. Now, another thing I did, I took a piece of card and I ran it through an embossing folder um, and I just added the paint straight onto it and depending on, this one's probably better to show it, depending on how much pressure I put on my um, my ink blending tool, um, that's the coverage I got. Here, I literally just ran it very, very gently over. And oh, if I can try and cover that, can you see the shine that's still on it, even though it's not completely covered? And then when I press the foam in a wee bit harder, look at that, isn't that amazing? And again here, I did the same here. I just tried out all three colors because I wanted to know what they look like. But isn't that handy? Oh, I, it's just so beautiful. That's what it is. It's beautiful. So I'm thinking now the colors I have here, I actually chose them with Christmas in mind because it won't be long before Christmas starts in the craft rooms for many of us. And I thought these are colors that I can use for so many things, but they will all go for Christmas. Do you imagine that Christmas project? Gorgeous. 
Now, what else did I try? Embossing powder. White and black embossing powder. Just stamped my, um, that's one of the Banksy one as well. A graffiti area, I think it's called. Stamps, I stamped down. And obviously white embossing powder, um, powder and black embossing powder. And up here, on the top bit here, I just have the, I just went in with my blending tool and just rubbed it on. And I haven't rubbed any of it off. Down here in the bottom, I then took a baby wipe and just gently rubbed over to see um, if I could clean up the embossing powder. Now, down here in the red, I don't know if I, if I left on the paint a little bit too long by the time I got um, round with the baby wipe, but as you can see, some of the red stayed on down here. But up here, where the text was smaller, it's actually come out cl uh, clear. Now, if you look up here, some of the black is actually covered with the paint, but you can still see the embossing through it. I just think it's came out really, really cool. And it's nice to know that you can use this product in addition to all the other bits we all, most of us have in the craft room anyway. Excuse me. Um, so it's a great addition, yet it can hold its own. So I'm, I keep saying it, I'm well impressed. Now, what else did I do? I made um, a bit of a splatter. Now I love everything vintage and I love everything with ink splatters on and stuff. So I made up um, a little scoop of the paint and I put it onto an acrylic block and I mixed it with a bit of, it's probably easier to show you how I did that, but I splashed it on and I wanted to see if the splashes held true. And still, it's probably very difficult to see because the shine didn't come out as much as it did here. I'll explain that in a second. Um, but it still great, gave fantastic splashes. So you can even water it down and do that as well. Now here to the sides, I took the paint I did um, that I mixed up for the splashes. I took and dipped the paintbrush in because I wanted to know if you could actually paint with it as in painting an image. But obviously the mousse would be too thick to paint an image with if you were to sit and coloring in. But the bit that I watered down to make the splashes that's one coat of paint and that's two coats on top of each other. So you could actually sit and paint with it as well. I think this is, again, so impressed. So, so impressed. So that's possible too, to actually just with a little bit of water, water it down and you can sit and paint with it as any other paint. Now, the last thing I have prepared and tried out um, was um, crackle glaze. I took some distressed crackle paint and I painted it onto a white sheet of card here. If I twist it this way, maybe that's easier. Um, so here where the white bit is, that's where the crackle paint is on. If I lift that closer, let's see if that'll pick it up for you. Can you see there's actually crackles in it? Now, obviously this is just done on white card. So the paint, the, the crackle paint is lying on top of the white card stock. But if you did this on top of one color, and then put this, um, the luster, another luster on top of it, you would have a two-tone effect. And it actually goes on just like any other wax that that you could, you know, you can you can use it on top of metal and stuff. So, and I know Julianne did it, was it Julianne I think who did it on, or maybe it was Bev? Never mind. One of them did a demo and they did it on metal. So you can get get this look as well. This is just straight onto white card. It was just a show. So anyway, so let's see. Um, what else did I do? Uh, ha, ha, ha. I have used it as a paste through my stencil. Now, obviously, you can't see much of it here. You can't really see the thickness of the height of it. But I literally used this as a paste through a stencil. This is the. This is not a photo opportunity stencil. Put it on top. And put that over. Now, the, I only literally did this. I have, the camera's been running what 15 minutes now. It's done 15 minutes ago, and now it's not completely dry, but it is definitely touch dry. I could, I, if I pushed it, I could smear it, but it's definitely touch dry. Now that is quite amazing. So, that's just a few of the varieties that I have done with this so far. So let me run through. That's the spray I did before. That was four little sprays that I done on this. And can you see the shine there is in this? That was just four little sprays. 
It is so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Right, let me show you. Let me show you, let me show you. I have, here is a piece of cardstock running through my embossing folder. So it has the embossing on it. And I literally just pick up a little bit of mousse. I just dab it in there. And then I, I've used the lid just to, you know, get the color in, get the paint in through the, the blending foam. And then I just took it and I just gently, gently, gently over the embossing. Isn't that beautiful? Now, and again, if I want to do a full coverage, I just press my foam in harder and it gives the full coverage around. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. So that's that. So any embossing folder that you have, you could enhance it with this. And I have to say, now I do have gilding waxes um, from a different company and I absolutely love them. But there is one thing with gilding waxes when you used, when I used them, maybe I'm doing them wrong. I'm not an expert on them by far. I, it's a little tiny pot. I sit and dip my finger in it and then I would sit and rub it over it. And if you do that on a piece, piece of card this size here, you end up getting marks in it, finger marks. Because this is so moussey, it spreads far easier over my project and I get a smooth, even surface. And you know what? Look at this here. My finger is, where's the camera there? Clean. It is already dry. Isn't that amazing? It's dry already, literally. Brilliant. Let's see, I've showed you the spray, the crackle glaze here. I did a piece here, there's more crackle glaze on this here. Um, do you know what I wanna try? <laughs> Let's try with the fingers. Look at this. I suppose with this, it'll go into the cracks bit easier than it did using the tools to get deeper into the cracks. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I do love this colour so much. Now that's on top of my crackle paint. I am literally in love with these. I really, really am. Embossing powder, white embossing powder, black embossing powder. I used a green one. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. If anyone counts back how many times I said beautiful, if they watch this video, eh? Look at this. Now it does color the embossing powder that is on here. It does but you can buff it up a bit. That's just an old rag here. Look at that. Look, it didn't even take very much off. See that? Now I can try with the baby wipe to see if I can get clean in the embossing powder a bit. It does lift a little bit of the paint off doing it this way here it does take a wee bit of the shine out but if I try on the whole piece that, that's still I ah, see there that's what it looked like before I did the emboss or did the baby wipe so it does take a wee bit of the shine out maybe if I left it dry a little bit longer I don't know but I still think that is pretty amazing 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 I really do Right, let's see. I took in a few bits and pieces. This is plastic um, chipboard, that's metal. And this is just a piece of wood. Don't ask me where it's from, some kind of math game or something like that the kids probably had. There is the MDF, that's the Be Crafty MDF tags. I have black card, I have water card, and I have craft card. So I thought I'll just try it on all of it and see what it looks like. So we'll try the red one. The red one is, it's stronger in the color. I think it's, it's very, very vibrant. Um, oh, look at this. This is chipboard. Look at that. Not a bother. You can see yourself how quick I'm adding this. 
I love pretty red nails. This is metal. Let's dab some on here. Not a bother. I'm dabbing on the metal. Oh, let's see if I can turn that around a bit. I'll come back to it in a minute. Give it a wee minute to dry. The wood. The kids game. Let's see if we can actually cover. Oh, look at this. Look at this. If I swipe the tool, it's not quite covering. But when I dabbed it, it gave a bit more of a coverage. So it's not quite covering the, the wee sign thingy that was under there. But we'll come back to it. We'll try and give it a second coat and see if it'll cover it. Let's try the plastic and see if it'll stay on there. Oh, look at that. How pretty that is. Look at that. The smallest wee thing I could have found it. Look at that, not a bother. We'll come back in a minute and see if it's dry and if it stays on. Let's do our craft card. Look at that, not a bother. Total coverage straight away. Not a bother. Watercolour card. which has a bit of texture in it and goes right in through to the texture. Not a problem. You see the texture there? Absolutely not a bother. And on the black, as I showed you, oh, a bit more on. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? There in the middle of it, I might have rubbed it a wee bit more than I did decide you can still kind of See a hint of the black through it, which I actually really like. That's really, really nice. But I am amazed at the coverage of this product and how easy it is to use. Excuse me. Now let's see. Chipboard. That's dry, not a bother. What did I do next? The metal. Metal's not quite white dry but it's not coming off completely I'm, I'm rubbing vigorously let's try give it a wee bit more and then leave that for another second the plastic uh, again it might need longer drying time we'll give it a wee bit more and we'll come back to it I'll put them up here to the side give them maybe about five ten minutes or whatever to dry and let's second coat Look at that. That math symbol is pretty much gone. You can still kind of just hint it below. But if need be, you could always give it a third coat. Look at that. That is amazing. So, that was it. Craft or the MDF tag, as I said to you, it goes straight on, not a bother. And you know what? You use so little of it already. Look at that. You know what? I was going to try. Maybe I should just do the whole tag. I'm sure, I might come up and use it for a product some for a project someday. Christmas tag. There we go. Let's try and spray this on top. Oh, that is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. You probably can't see the difference, except that it's wet. Can you hint the gold that's on top? That is really cool. I'll come back to that and see if it makes a difference. That is so beautiful. Right, what else will I show you how to do? Um, let's see, we've gone through all of these. Oh, the splashing, because that is really cool. Really, 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 really cool. Right, acrylic block, just a wee small acrylic block. Can you tell? See, that's all. What I'm gonna do is I take a wee tiny scoop of this here. I literally only just used tiniest little amount. And then I just took clean water and I just rubbed in it. It would help if my mat was clean now so you could see, wouldn't it? 
And now it is, like there's tiny wee lumps in it to start off with, but I'm just rubbing that into the water so it kind of dissolves it. That is all. And you can just add another spray of water if you like. There we go. Because when you do your paint splashes, you want a good, good liquid mixture. So there we go. Have a wee piece of card stuck over here. There we go. And what I normally do is I normally just take a dry paintbrush and I'll take a wee bit of this to the side and I just splash it. And then if I want bigger drops, I might just let a wee drop run off. See that? And that is so pretty. Now obviously these are wet, but can you see how shiny they still are? That is so cool, isn't it? And that's what I was saying. This is the mixture then that I used for painting on the other sample, on the red sample there. That's exactly what I did. I literally just sat then and painted with it. Not a bother. And I would say if you might need even more liquid, you might get more of a, well, yeah, look, you get a more of a watercolor effect. Now this is not watercolor paper. This is just white cardstock. So it might not take to the water too well when I sit and paint. But look at that. Look at that. Oh, the splashes are running now. Look at that. So you could actually sit and paint. Let's try on the watercolor paper and see how that works. That is so, so, so pretty. And you know what, it's not even streaky. Yeah, I just had a thought. Does the red paint lift if I come in with the green? But it does a little bit, yeah. It does. What happens if I spray water in the whole thing? <gasps> Look at that! Look at that. It all, it reacts to the water as well. Now, obviously you can still see the line of where I was blending, but do you imagine the effect you can get with this as you can get the paint itself to move a bit as well? Oh, I can just see all the techniques that open, this opens the door to. That is so cool. So, so, so cool. Now, one thing I do want to know, um, want to mention is how easy it is to clean up. Look at my fingers. It comes right off. Baby wipe, that's all I'm using. Even my pretty red nail, it comes right off. So, it is very cool. Very, very, very cool. I have to say, I am absolutely amazed with these paints. Um, I have been crafting for many, many years and I have gone through a lot of paint, a lot of wax, a lot of, a lot of different products. And I have to say, this is definitely something, I don't know if it's brand new because I don't know all the brands that's out there, but to me, it's brand new. And it's it's several amazing products mixed into one pot that I can just see that when my waxes runs out, I wouldn't buy a new wax. I would just buy a, another luster because I can paint with it, I can spray with it, I can use it as a, a paste, um, uh, to put through um, you can do so many things with it and you know what as I say I only got mine today um, you imagine when the rest of the design team gets to play with theirs and all the other possibilities we're all going to come up with when everybody at home who have ordered these gets them gets to play with them all oh, the possibilities are going to be endless what we're going to come up with together so a really, really exciting product, I have to say, and I cannot wait to see what everybody is going to do with them when they play. Um, I'm well impressed, I have to say. Um, I know, I'm a huge Be Crafty fan, as it is, but I wouldn't put my name to a product and sit on YouTube and say how much I loved it if I didn't genuinely do. So um, so that's, that's basically it. Sorry for the long video, um, but I hope that... I have at least given you an idea of what this amazing product can do and I have to say I cannot wait to play more with it and hopefully come up with some new techniques. So um, 
that's that's it for me today. Um, thanks for watching and a happy craft. I'll see you next time. Bye.